Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the latest news from Salesforce about Einstein GPT, specifically looking at the new video release showing a little demo of how you can use Einstein GPT to create flows. This will be a really interesting video, but if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I have new awesome Salesforce content coming out each week. I really appreciate it. And let's jump into this thing. So for the video, I'm going to play the video here with no audio, and I'm just going to talk, uh, talk through what it shows in the video and we'll take a look at the article that comes with it all right say hello to einstein gpt for flow say hello to einstein gpt for flow now it's pretty cool how the text box pops up here in a minute and you can put in your requirements so as you can see here they're typing in kind of what they're wanting to do and then it's going to generate a response says flow has been created and there it is right there it says add a follow-up task in 30 days to check in with the customer does that on a little break off there the flow has been saved is there anything else you'd like to do so quick little short video there kind of demoing it pretty interesting and then it has a link here as well to a little article that is on Salesforce's website now it says right here with generative AI real-time data and capabilities in flow customers can use natural language to create intelligent automated workflows that use real-time signals such as changes in customers behavior or market conditions to trigger actions and then it talks about Salesforce perspective about this about how flows make our customers lives easier which is true flows are awesome and this is kind of the uh, text we saw in the video breaking out how it built the flow and then it says these are the actions so business end user and admin could describe what kind of flow they would like to build and see it built for them in near real time instead of having to build each flow manually step by step. Now that is a pretty interesting perspective. I think that's awesome because if you've spent any time building flows, if you want to send a follow up reminder to a group that you created, it takes a little bit to build that element out in the flow. So maybe put in your requirements and have a bare bones flow built out for you that you can go in and customize yourself. I really like that. Users can also describe a formula they want and Einstein GPT will build it automatically. This replaces having to carefully piece formulas together, avoiding the risk of mistakes within the formula syntax. Very good point. Um, that could be huge. And users will see improved searchability by describing a function they need to locate and having Einstein GPT insert the correct flow automatically instead of having to search out subflows and invocable actions. So my perspective here mainly is, is a great way to have your bare bones flow built out for you. Then you can use the um, AI technologies to try to refine it further because I have a feeling especially with the first gen of this it's not going to be as powerful as we think it will be it's not going to be able to do as much customization as we think and and really it comes down to learning how to interact with this it can only create as good as we can describe what we need right if we're very vague and don't know how to communicate with the technology then it's not going to create the flow or formulas or anything you know subflows whatever very well if we can't communicate with it it'll be interesting to see once this is in a sandbox in the future to play with i'm really excited about it but let me know what you think about the technology in the comments below if you haven't done so already hit the like button if you found this video useful and i will see you in the next video